Would y'all rather five hundred thousand dollars of mm. like just equipment y'all want? Any equipment mm. or dinner with Jay Z? I'll take the five. All respect to Jay. Where's my camera? Let me do this the right way. All respect to Hope, but respect. I'll take the equipment. I'm taking the dinner because okay. he's gonna show me how to flip it and get. I'm about, say, I, I'm about to say, I think I'd take that dinner too. Didn't Jay You're said dragging it? He's wait, wait, take no. the fucking money. Didn't Jay said say I don't know why y'all would take the dinner? He said I take yeah. the money. Yeah, he was like, yeah, that this conversation came up to him, and he was like, yo, I, I would never talk to myself that much. <laughs> <laughs> I was Did like, you that's see so the meme deep. going on the internet? What they they had the Jay Z impression. He was like, yeah, you know, oh, yes. <laughs> two plus two is four, four times four is sixteen. <laughs> And when you put four times four on the back of a truck, it becomes a Jeep four by four. <laughs> yeah. And y'all was, oh, I seen it because I seen the kid, th- that voice yeah. know what's going on. And the kid was like, I, I yeah. could have had half he a said, million. This, this salmon is amazing. <laughs> he said, I could have I would, Beyonce pronounces I'm sorry, salmon. Guys. Yeah. I, I would not do that. If I was to have to pick. $500,000 at Sweetwater versus dinner with Jay-Z. I will oh, take Sweetwater. I'll nah, take, see? I'll take 10 racks at Sweetwater. <laughs> now nah, see? Nah, no see, disrespect to the God. You didn't tell me it was Sweetwater. If now, this is Sweetwater now, credit, I'm going brazy. Come on. I may go brazy. 500000 Sweetwater or dinner with Guru. I'm taking I'm my gonna money, take that man. What if, what if, what Sorry, if I love Guru. Guru too? Stop killing what all my Guru, favorite I love you, man. Guru brings you a piece worth more than $500,000? That Jay-Z mm. used. Now, what see, piece is worth more than half a million dollars? <laughs> oh, a SSL a console? <laughs> a TI? A, a T5? Cat. First, <laughs> first of all, if you bring me an SSL console, I don't even have a fucking place to put that shit. That's so, what the, That's another a T5. thing. If Guru hands you a T5, are you taking... Oh, that's actually a good question. Your favorite artist or engineer hands you a hard drive at $500,000. Mm. It's your risk. You don't know what's on the hard drive. Do you take the money or the hard drive? You, this is difficult for you to choose? <laughs> I don't understand. What is the confusion here? This Come actually on. is difficult for me. This is di- So you're going to take a random chance at an engineer saying, here's a hard no, no, drive. No, no, no. It's not just the engineer. If it could be... like You got to understand If it's me, sessions, though. you can see what sounds... For me... And, if, and, we're, all right, if the Neptunes exactly. give you a hard drive and 50, 500 bands is crazy. 50 bands and a hard drive. And you take said, the I'm risk, still taking the 50 sessions. bands. Shocker. What am I going to do? Put the music? I can't do nothing with the <laughs> but sessions. You can, you can steal. <laughs> Ste- I, so, I can listen. You know what I don't have to steal? <laughs> that they're giving me? Half a million dollars. That's, that's what they did. That's well, what they I said, me. I said I said 50 bands. I'll still take fifty bands over um the the hard, the hard drive, drive, bro. Man. I understand. I'm a pure. I like. I love music. I'm. I love getting secrets and getting game. But at the same time, let's be logical here. Is there anyone that would that like that would you, uh that would make you take the hard drive over? Like, is there anyone on earth that would make you take the hard drive over the over how much money? Fifty bands. Okay, fifty bands. I might take a Drake album session. If I could, if I could look at a Drake session, have a Drake session, hmm. the mixes and the mastering session, and I can see it all. That's the thing. That's a risk, bro. It's a hard drive. I'm not, but if it's a risk, I'm not taking the you don't chance. Like taking risk? If, it's a, if, it, if it's not guaranteed, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No, it's bullshit. And you, we, we can say as far as risk and stuff like that is concerned, but for me, it's just like some things don't make sense, and I can do more. You know what I can do with fifty grand as far as audio equipment and just like. Heart, like I could do so much things with fifty grand in my I audio. Give, I could give 40, 50 bands for Drake sessions. All right, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to the My <laughs> Audio <laughs> Nerds podcast, the podcast for audio nerds like yourself. I will take the money. Just let you know, <laughs> my name is Devon Terrell. I'm also a Pro Tools user, user. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. It really does help us a lot. Now, to the left of me. You got the FL21 semi gun himself. L. Gene mm. is in the building. I'm not going to lie. You guys dropped smooth. your new version. Yes. And the internet incredible. was set ablaze. Yes. They mm-hmm. wilded out. Now I can comfortably say we have the best stock plugins of any DAW. Okay. And mm. we might have the best reverb, like stock reverb. Stock. Period. Mm. Like, I'm really. Oh ab- my God. Can I tell you something? You ever felt like you were like. Like the cool kids were having a party, yeah, and, you and like he was like, "Damn, I, they having mad fun over there." Mm-hmm. Like we y'all was having hyped. mad fun. We are hyped. The only bad thing about this update is Ableton mode, but we'll get into that. Later. That's hilarious. Let's we'll slide on that. over to our Ableton correspondent. That's dumb funny. Uh, to the right of me is the aficionado of Ableton, aka the greatest doll of all time. How are you guys doing today? It's what Courtney. A, if you could spell officiato, I'd be impressed. Aficionado? I okay. got you right now. You want nah, me to spell it? No, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Because I'm he knows I'll do it. Yeah, I know. I'll figure <laughs> it out. You're too confident. Um, so, to be honest with you, 
I'm laughing because I really want to know what was so great in your FL Studio update that everyone's raving about. Because I see, bro, y'all are going ape shit, and it's. I did hear a lot of their user interface functionality like got really good, and it's already really great for FL. That's wonderful. So not only did our browser, you see, you saw how I stood up. He's ready. I like this. You could you could switch to my. Now I have the demo. I mean, not the demo. The beta. Broke boy. So it's kind of. He said, don't no, do that. No, it just hasn't been officially released. So if anything, I got the exclusive. Oh, so they yeah. gave you a beta first? Yeah, yeah. It's a release candidate. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So they make you test it out. That's, that's yeah. actually a smart way to do it. So peep game. So if That's you dangerous see, as hell. I have um, all of my instruments to sound. Actually, let me collapse all. Okay. So now I'm actually, I you guys can, can't see me. I'm about to go over the screen to see what leaf is. I'm now I can like star hey, my favorite it. sounds and they'll show up. I can tag certain sounds. Right. So... If I sat here and tagged everything, I could I like choose bass, punchy, all of that. Right. Um. So everything is more organized. The plugin library, so it has all my. It looks. It, it, star it looks a lot cleaner. Like I'm not gonna. Like, that's when you open. It. I was like, is that logic? I was like, what are you doing? It, yeah. It looked a little um, logic-y. We brought clip gain. So now recording is getting better. We brought clip gain. We brought um automatic crossfading. So if anything overlaps, it'll it, like, automatically, automatically crossfade. Yeah. Uh. We have Ableton mode. Let me bring y'all to that. Yeah, let's right see this now. Ableton mode. And when you say Ableton mode, that's basically skin. Right. Yeah. So we have skins Whoa. online. Oh, wow. People are able to create skins. Uh -huh. So I'm <gasps> like, my main skin is one that I got from the forum. Right. But That's people fire. created like Ableton skins with just the colorways and everything. Yo, what the fuck, bro? Wow. See, out. okay. So this is my thing, and why I look at that, and then I look at Pro Tools, and I say, Yo, what is going on? I just feel like their your your people, as far as FL Studio, are catering to y'all mm -hmm. so much. They're making it a personalized experience for you where you open your FL studio and it's like this is my station you know what mm. I mean it doesn't feel so stale and generic like okay this is it, it it's inspiring bro to see that like that's that's so crazy I'm, gonna do I'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm giving y'all y'all flowers on just being able to wax. tap into y'all community on mm -hmm. wax bro so what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna show y'all our new reverb the lux verb okay uh, oh my gosh I'm it's not really gonna even good. touch multi-band delay or any of them crazy is it notes. sound is it sound capable right now no right no, 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 you don't have sound right now, oh, so, which I'm so. glad about. Um, he said it. So you're about to shit. shit. I'm not yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'll up. Oh, he could just plug in an aux and he'll be good if you plug in an aux. Oh, Courtney, oh, nice. so yeah. in the meantime, just get yourself together. Just get yourself together. Just show us. Yeah, okay. Um, In the yeah. meantime, Courtney, what I was, you know, when it comes to What's you guys' updates and stuff like that, have you guys have any updates? Because I don't hear nothing about Ableton updates or anything like that. It's more so kind of like um from. Uh, it's more so kind of like a from version to version kind of thing, I guess you could say. Um, in the in the standpoint of uh -huh. like from nine to ten, and yeah, then from ten to eleven, uh -huh. uh, maybe within the first year, year and a half uh -huh. of um, being out, uh, the different versions will get like you know a patch. To like you know, oh, okay. So really, there it's just been like bit of bug, bugs, bug yeah. fixes. Whatever but, we do for the version, right? That's the update. So it hasn't been anything like a like a like like that where it's like okay, we did some stuff to really personalize things oh, or no. anything like that. Well, because Ableton's kind of been that way right. for a minute. Like in terms of like we can't really like you know, Levens can actually take the specific palettes of certain like um, parts of his windows, his yeah. um, his bars, right. um, his headers, all that stuff, and change those colors. Uh. Ableton is more so kind of like if you affect the hue saturation or color content of this stuff, yeah. you're doing it for the whole thing. It's going okay. to do it in different gradients. Well, we can still do that it, even in Pro Tools. I could change like the clips color. I can change yeah. like the no, tracks. but there's that's what I'm saying. Like for a long time itself, FL has kind of been geared toward the user experience, more passive person uh -huh. that's coming into producing. Okay, because it has to realize we have to appeal to things aesthetically outside of the producing community because right. producers don't care. Yeah, but. I for their group, Perhaps. and now producers, now that their group is starting to love it, yeah. producers are like, oh, well, shit, I want mine to look special. That's true. So it's FL, FL cracked the code, for yeah, sure. They, yeah, Image line cracked the code, for sure. Is your is yeah. your sound and everything good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's I'm do this. Do I'm, I'm excited so to I hear this. I'm my reverb yeah. right on the chain. So yeah. Fire. So, yeah, I could, I could just Fire. We're that's here for that. Fine. Oh, that's not nasty? That's that's accepted now? Uh, that's, oh, my God. That's against the... That that, a little bit. That's against the rules in Pro Tools for all those... us. Jesus For all those Christ. wondering, <laughs> hold on Christ. one second. What is it? that FL? See that FL shit? Want to be banging? See, that's what I'm talking about. FL want to be loud. Want to scream? Can tell us when we're good, not dying. Okay, Shut. we're still dying. So, so turn turn yourself down, um, LJ I'm from twenty percent. Yeah. From your thing. Thank you. Bro.
That was a bad, that was a bad, like, chip. That's fine. That's fine, actually. That still sounded fire. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going through precess. Yeah. Okay. You hear how soft that is? We got pitch shift reverb. Interesting. I'm hearing, it, I'm hearing this in mono, by the way. Huh? Yes, yeah, a stock FL uh, reverb. We're hearing it in mono right now, if I'm not mistaken, though. Are you putting this on a mono vocal? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm hearing this reverb in mono. Oh, it's still fire. It's, it still sounds cool, but I'm letting you know I'm hearing it in mono. But it's at the end of the chain, so it shouldn't be... Uh, well, in Pro Tools, we have it. It automatically... You can choose if you want to convert it to a stereo um, channel. Well, I'm, I just threw it straight on, uh, right on the thing. What you so should have do is throw it on your master bus so we can get a better idea, because it's, it's playing in mono. and yeah. it, it You know how it, reverb really, sound in mono, they sound really digital sounding? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's only coming it's out of one channel. So throw it on your... What you call it? I'm showing you routing. Let's go, FL Studio. Put oh, y'all on. With the, bo with the boings? With, with the boing bottom. boing wires, yeah. Show me the little dongle. Notice how I got the wires. god particle on the master already. That's Shout out Jason Joshua. Put this before the god particle, which is hard. Put it after the god. Shout out Jason Joshua. Just hit actually, a god particle in the turn off the reverb. god. Yes, you're cheating. I'm That's like, hold fire. on. He's That's, cheating. He's like, hold on a second. Make sure you're showing us cam right now. Okay, cool. He's cheating by putting on the god particle to show an example. Because I ain't gonna lie to you. When I show examples, <laughs> boy, do I throw that god particle on? Of course. Okay. It's just like creative shit. One. Okay. Sounds very granular. I like that. You know what's a good way I test? Okay. You know, I understand. Nah, actually, before you're done with that, you know what's a good way I test um, uh, in stock uh, uh, reverbs? How so? Can you play us just like three examples of any of your plate presets? Plate reverbs are, are, are my tells. Okay. Like plate reverbs. Really? Play, why play, so? Because I feel like stock ones, cheap ones, they just sound very bright. Okay, kind of similar to. Wow, that's nice. This that's is a actually very a nice good sound. Verb. That's nice. That's beautiful. It sounds like a nice chamber. It's just like a tight chamber. Mm -hmm. And these are that's cool. Even? And these I still are, think wow. I'm hearing it in mono, but I, I'm not. That's going to fire. Do that. no, that's but it sounded fire. cool. Maybe someone. On the okay. Podcast uh, no, I doubt it. It's yeah. FL Studio routing. Trust FL me. FL Studio routing. Um, you said? On the master. Was... Yo, mono on the master is nasty. Mono That's on your master is yeah. incredible. So I'm, I'm not doing that. Crazy, but you should. You know, from time to time, mix in mono. Okay, LJ, Never. I want to switch gears. We really gave FL Studio so much love, on man. Now shout out, y'all did um, good. Nah, y'all did good. I'm not gonna sure. lie. Mm -hmm. Rare time. I want to give FL day flowers. Rare time. So I want to. Uh, I want you to move on over to your one gotta go or your discussion that you have for us today. Give it to us now. All right, one gotta go. I want to do budget hardware brands. You know, Ooh. brands known for the budget gear. Okay. Um, hardware. I know. I know it's number one already. So first is Behringer. No, I'm kidding. That would <laughs> be crazy. I don't know. Like, Whoa. <laughs> Audio Technica. <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice. Focus right. Okay. Ooh. Presonus. Those are three. If I put Behringer in there, it'd have been bad. I'm like. I. What was the first one? Audio Technica, Focus right. And Personas. I have Personas. Mine, to be honest. What's yours? And that gotta go, go or that stays. That gotta, that gotta go. Okay. What gotta go? <laughs> they gonna kill me. No, they not. Cause I know what you are gonna pick. Audio Technica. Yeah. It's out of here. I, agree. I was about to say it's probably article te audio but Technica. But their headphones are great. Yeah, yeah they make yeah. they make good yeah. headphones and they have a, a microphone that is a classic mic. I think it's the AT twenty twenty. Yeah. That was that mic, so I pop. But I, I'm not saying what it was, but I'm saying I'm it was saying, very popular. I'm yes. saying that the mic did not sound great. I didn't like and that I'm mic. I'm also saying that the mic didn't look great. It was like huh. how you not a baddie and not a fatty. Mm, how you don't sound good and you don't. You look really good. wrote that in your brain. That was good though. Um, I see where he's coming from. He's the, spitting. He's spitting a little bit. He's spitting a little bit. The Audio Technica mic that was just a classic staple mic of budget friendly. Now, now okay. are we talking from a perspective of like, okay, budget friendly mic. That was a microphone that was like really inexpensive. That was like, I can do this. Mm -hmm. kind what was of the mic? Sorta. How much was the mic? Ooh, that was like a hundred bucks. bucks. Maybe a hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah. Well, the cheapest mic that was. "Quote unquote," the poor man's micro uh, microphone. Oh, I can tell you right the now. The Samson. Samson. C O one. U Pro. Yes, huh. I had that microphone, and man, that mic was that mic was awful. But <laughs> it had like this. It, I know why people called the poor man's micro uh, Neumann because it had a little bit of a high end like. Oh, like a little sheen. Like yeah, had a little brilliant. sheen. Mm -hmm. But other than that, bro, that that microphone. Uh -uh. Pre I'm not gonna lie. Hundred bucks. Yeah, Personas gets their love. Well, first of all, they have one of the. I'm not gonna say great or anything. I'm just mm -hmm. saying one of the Dawes of all time. One of the Dawes. And you can just fill in I like that. Blank. that. One of the Dawes. Shout out of Studio all One. Time. <laughs> not Studio gonna, One is not gonna do that. That was Pretty funny. Personas has a great uh, entry level um, hmm. interface. Hmm. Which one? Which one is theirs? 
They have the Persona, uh, the Personas audio box. Audio box, yep. Yeah. Oh, I never, 96. I never tapped into it. The oh, only yes. Personas, you, if I show you it, you'll, you'll know. I'll know. The only Personas equipment I ever rocked with was their monitor stations. Oh, mm. you never tried Classic. their monitors? They have two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Monitors, incredible. Here, here's the thing. Or it's like the it's called the e some with the e like the Eurus yeah, e the e something. I what know. I always found weird about their monitors is it came in four point five inches. Yeah. That was the strangest thing in yeah. the world. So they, you know, how all they monitors is five, six, yeah. seven. Yeah, they, they had three and a half, four and a half, and then um, five, six, seven. I think. That always threw me off. Is the half, and I always wondered, like, what's the science behind it? Why did they have a half inch? So you wouldn't get the Mackies. <laughs> oh wow! It's just maybe a, just the point five was for a boost. Yeah, that is it's like it's a little bigger. Interesting. Hmm. That's an interesting take. Okay, I, mean, I, maybe, I could be wrong. Focus right is untouchable. Focus right is untouchable. Yeah, it's and true. I say it because Focus right's interfaces. Have just been such a staple in like yeah. budget studios, mm-hmm. bro. Like hands down, like as far as as far as a company that gives us qu- like a a good quality but a great price. Yeah, I'll go with Focusrite mm-hmm. in that regard. Obviously, I will always say there's certain things about Focusrite pre's and, and converters that mm-hmm. I know like that sounds like a Focusrite preamp. Like as far as I don't want to say what it is, but I feel like the one thing about Focusrite stuff, <coughs> as far as the budget stuff, is the low end. Like yeah. it's not warm. It doesn't have a, a a warm sound. It's very cold sounding to me, and mm-hmm. I've always said that. Now, right too, yeah. if you go on over to Focus Rights, they have a, a line called that, and yeah. they have the a, a preamp line called the ISA. You ever seen it? It's that a, is, you see, he's he's rich. It's blue. I'm not rich. I just worked with it before in the studio. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like the blue, yellow, and gray. Look at okay. thing. It's I mean, a, when I think focus right, I think red. That's what only I'm saying, red. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Not another thing, but red. They got something else, and and that's um, their. High, I don't want to. I don't know if this their high end preamps, but these preamps like thousands of dollars. The oh, focus right okay. ISA series, like the ISA one. I had one at one point with a friend, mm. and that thing sounded fire. Like that's the only thing I'll vouch for. If I want to be honest, um, because I killed uh, Audio Technica. Uh huh. I don't know. I killed yeah Audio Technica about mm-hmm. it. I'm gonna be honest. All three of these companies make bad mics to me. Focus. I've never for heard, the price. Focus right got a mic. Focus right, it comes with the Scarlet. There's a bundle. Yeah, there's a Scarlet Headphones, mic. Scarlet. Oh. And, yeah, there's a Scarlet mic. And then I didn't know that. Presonus is M70? I don't know or nothing P70 about that. Like. It's cheaper like a $60 mic. mic. It's all condenser mics. We're going to have a conversation. Some of y'all shouldn't be jumping straight to condenser mics. And what do you think they should do? Go to USB dynamic, mics instead? No, dynamics. Okay, well. For some rooms, for okay. some people, a dynamic mic, you ain't got to okay. worry about uh, phantom power. Okay. You ain't got to worry about. Really getting a properly treated room. Okay. Yo, did you know they sell phantom power supplies on Amazon? It's not an interface. It's literally just phantom power supplies. The in and out uh, XLRs. Uh huh. And then you plug your yeah uh, XLR mic uh-huh. in, uh-huh. and then you there's an out where it just provides phantom power. Well, that like, would I think that might be for more of like cloud lifters and stuff like that. Because what else would I use a, a out- cheap microphones yeah. where you can't afford. The interface that's what it was made for, so you'll just it was a cheap ten dollar, fifteen dollar, twenty dollar condenser also, mic. You got a point if you also think about the fact that Cloud Lifter with their shit, if they, and, and they know exactly what you're buying for, right? And what newer people will be buying it for, right? They have a, a phantom power thing too, yeah. So you why can literally you need, just yeah. plug in, like, why would you need a phantom power for Cloud Lifter? Because for, you to need, plug the mic in, so what people, what a lot of people don't realize, my Cloud Lifter, I need phantom power in order to activate the, the Cloud, cloud lifter. lifter, so. Would you so it has to still go into a preamp? Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So you're getting what? clean gain from in the microphone from the cloud lifter, but when it hits the um, it needs to it needs to your preamps need to power the cloud yeah. lifter, which I thought was like I always said it's kind of strange. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, but, but I understand sense. because it's still a mic signal going into exactly. a mic. Exactly. I, I just trust I think them. Levens has a point with that. I just yeah. trust them. But yeah, how I was introduced. Shout out to Podcastage. Um, when oh, I was younger. Shout out to, to that get, page. Yeah, trying to get. Uh, I got a like fifteen dollar mic. Shout out to newer who makes camera equipment. They also mm. made condenser microphones. Cheap and cheap, cheap. Plug stuff. that into a um phantom power supply, uh-huh. and then plug that into like a USB converter. Plug right. that into your computer, right. and you would have a <laughs> a mic, right? With, like a condenser. Wow, mic. that's Those, interesting. The USB mic craze was you know the only USB mic that I was actually somewhat kind of like wow about was of course the Apogee hype mic. First off, oh yeah, shout out to the hype mic. That's top of my list as far as like the the USB mics. That's top shout of my out. list. And then the second one was the um, you may not have heard of this company, Mayon, Mayono. Yes. Remember Mayono? Yeah. They sent us a mic. Mm. This is years it was the ago. same stuff though. It's like uh, if I if I'm being, 
I don't know. I haven't tested them against each other, but uh-huh. I think it's just the same company, stuff and they just slapping branded. a name on it. Um, I, so Mayono, I don't think it was because I got microphones from the other company. I won't say who, and I hit them back and said, "This mic yeah. is absolutely horrible. Mm. I'm not showing this to my audience." It was a USB mic, and it was bad. Like it was, it was bad, bro. Oh man, I feel um, like I know the company. Yeah, you know the vibes. Oh, Y'all yeah, know. know what's going on. Who else? Who else? Um, no blue. I mean, before oh. Blue left the audio world. <laughs> yeah, they did, man. Logitech bought them. Oh, okay. Logitech? Logitech bought them. Really? Oh, Logitech bought Blue. Mm-hmm. Oh, you told me this. You know mm-hmm. why that's smart for Logitech? Because of gaming. Yeah, yeah. so it, Blue Spark and the Blue Yeti. But it's like, damn, we lost the Raspberry because of y'all. I'm about to say, so you now that I know that you weren't talking about that, that's what I thought you were talking about. Um, what? Blue. But I, because I love the Yeti. I thought as a USB mic, that there was a, you that was a time. That was terrible, nah. I thought there was a time it when the Yeti actually. You think so? Yo, some pe- yeah, for some people, they c- it couldn't work with their computer because oh, it just wow. required more than like five volts. I've never ran to that issue, but oh. that's interesting to know. Hmm. I didn't know that. The, the snowball. Snowball. Was that was the shit. The snowball is tough. The snowball is mad the snowball. tough. I had, I had the right, though. I tried the podcast oh, with Oh, yeah, snowballs. I remember. Oh, and it didn't work out. It didn't work out. <laughs> he because, said it didn't work. Because everybody needed their own computer It's because yeah. it's USB. So the yeah. problem with USB microphones for me is like... It's it's an interface, right? Yeah. Like the USB microphone is an interface. Own. So the problem is when you say, "Okay, guys, let's do a podcast." Yeah. I can't, I'm not gonna plug four interface. That's like plugging four yeah. interfaces into my fucking mm. computer. So I always was like, "Why don't they create like a little hub that yeah. allows me to do, do it?" But I don't I don't know how far the technology has come with USB microphone. I haven't used one in years. The Spark used to be the Spark used to be budget product. choice. The Blue Spark. Mm-hmm. I the thought origin? it was the baby bottle. That's not budget. It's not. It was what like is your budget? Four hundred. What is your budget? So okay, what's up? What's budget to you? What are you? Class- I'm doing something. Yeti's like two hundred, just to let you know. It no, is? the Yeti was no Yeti was like eighty bucks. Oh, he's even lower. Yeah. It, 80, oh, I'm about bucks. to say. So you took my hundred dollar microphone? No, hundred, two hundred. The max. I say like two hundred max. You're going into road territory. That's what I'm saying. But Spark road was is high Spark, in budget to yeah, me. That's the high Spark in budget. was like budget. one forty nine. The King B yeah. was one hundred twenty. There you go. Uh, Audio Technica AT twenty twenty is one hundred bucks. Like that. The MXL that's stuff. The MXL nine ninety seven seventy. That's true. Those are all budget kind of stuff. You know. Okay, I understand that. My my thing is it, when it came to those cheaper microphones. Obviously, you pay for what you get. But let me say this. The new microphones that are being made today for hundred dollars slap the microphones yeah, that was, was happening back in the back day. Then. Like yeah. technology has gotten a lot better because when you put that King B, bro, that was, was OD. OD yeah. That that got me tight. He when said we, that shit was wow. I put it next to my TLM and I was tight. I was like, like that's why I think. Um, and this is something that you brought up on your channel a lot of times. Um, mm-hmm. like shit like the Slate Digital mic and stuff yeah. like that. Oh man, I don't think that like it's <laughs> kind of a steal. Well, no, it is a steal. I'm not gonna lie. To what? You. what the Slate mic? Well, when you think about it, because I was like. Cause I was like oh. eight hundred. I'm like, when you think about it, you know, you that's a that's a that's a, that, that, that's a that's a that's close to a thousand. That's a that's yeah. an old Sony mic. That's yeah. a that's a that's a mid class like road. Like when you get in like into mics and shit like that, you get in, into there. As far as the but slate then mic? when you uh-huh. think about the fact that it models, it emulates thousands of mics. It's like, oh damn, bro. It, to me, there isn't a price for this. And can I say this? I appreciate them not having like a row of just a thousand microphones that I can click yeah. on. It's very specific as far as the, your choices. It might be like maybe 30 emulations and that's Completely. in on, those, on, that, on that microphone, which lets me feel like they kind of paid really a close attention to detail with it and did the best to like kind of mm-hmm. model it and stuff like that. So I'm, Shout I, out. that is my mic, bro. I'm they not. The moving. waves, uh, I was reading some comments. People hate the waves emulation one. Oh, I never, uh, I never touched the microphone. Mm, never seen it. They that have waves? one? Yeah, I think it was called the King's Microphone. Oh! Yeah. Well, the program. They don't have a mic. No, no, not a mic. They had the program, The emulation. Yeah. Um, I never used theirs. I used the auto-tune. If Slate did that, it would have... Like, if I could use my SM7B and... Right. Whoa. And run change through the, it. Through right. the Slate, you, like... I was say, you like the, the auto-tune one? Mic Mod. So, Antares has Mic Mod, which... It's kind of like I'm the other ones. I'm about to say, like, because I don't know. So you never used it where it says, okay, pick your source. Yeah. So you'd be like, okay, I'm using an SM7B. So it has a ton of microphones in the source side, and yeah. then it's saying what you want to turn it into. Turn into. So I thought that was creative, but also T Rex has their version. That's why I'm that's yeah. about to actually compare. T Rex one was, I, I ain't gonna lie. T Rex was, that one was fire, right? That was yeah. the one I was but using required, all the time. It required so much, like uh, CPU. It did, it was busting that CPU ass. And I was on a shitty. Computer. Oh yeah! Mm. Oh, damn. We have a template with that on somewhere. Yeah. Oh, my the God. rags to riches. What are you talking about? Rags to riches. Oh, it's the rags to riches uh, yeah. template. Shout out HMD. Go Fact. get your rags to riches today. Big um, shout out to, to what you call. Shout it. out to all the companies. Big I love Fact. this convo. Yeah, I'm staying Facts. here. I ain't gonna lie. This is very, this is very good. good. This is very yeah. good. So we can make we can keep our topic on just budget 
microphones. Budget yeah. microphones and just budget equipment. I like that because for me, Rob was just talking to me about it, right? And he was talking about traveling. Like he's yeah. pretty much trying to set up a rig to go and actually record rappers and stuff like that for on the radar. Shout out to Gabe. Um, and so he was asking me, like, what interface should I go to? Mm -hmm. And my biggest recommendation was the Apogee Duet 3. Mm. That was my yeah, it's portable, yeah. That's my yeah. Th bro. It literally is a pouch about that big. If you're looking on the video, it's like this big, bro. It's a it, it oh, fits. So, it's, so it is smaller than the boom. If I had to, if I had to go to your thinner. studio and um oh. like steal anything from you, it would be that. Uh yeah. Yeah, you or go the, walk right or, the, or the portico, but I would have used the portico. You I are just, not slipping out of my crib with a knee portico. <laughs> with a gas just portico. Like, <laughs> like if, if I'm like, to carry it like this is insane. He got the hood on. Yo, Dev, I'm gonna catch you, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, you gonna catch these hands. <laughs> if you take, nah, I will never forget when wild. we built the. Uh, so you built the studio, right? Did I say we because we already had a week oh with that. Oh my god! You built the studio, right? And you had bought your portico. You were scared to buy your portico at first. I was. He was like, "Holy shit! You know what? I'm gonna just wow, buy it. yeah." And then you bought this uh, studio, and you made sure the portico was part of the budget for the new stuff. Yes. Yep. But then I walked into your crib. I was like. I didn't know your portico had a dark mode hardware. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you swapped it. <laughs> I swapped. So I have two porticos, right? No way. One is in the studio here and one is at my crib. The older portico was, uh, what is it, like blue? White. It like it's white. like white. It's like a white, white version. Red, yeah. But then they made a dark mode version of the shit later on down the line. I got the dark mode shit. And For that dark studio, mode you shit. swapped it up. Ooh, that dark There's mode no one way. is. Ben is, said, I walked into no your shit and I said, damn, bro, since when could hardware you skin? Shit got <laughs> skin. It's crazy. Yo, to hard. apply a D brand skin to your hardware. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is beautiful. D brand will be out of here. Who? D band? D brand? You never heard of D brand? What's that? They do skins for PS5s, they do it for phones mm -hmm. and stuff. Oh, wow. If they did like. A portico screen. Nah, we are, we talking too much money. Yeah, I think that's fine. I, I never lie. Do that. Shout out to D Brand. We gonna do the HMD headphone skin or something like that. Yeah, they gotta give us some. Yo, we I would do that for headphones and stuff like that. Yeah, D -brand? but they do they do it for a lot of consumer electronics. So okay, like P fives, uh, every iPhone that comes out, the MacBooks. Oh, they're MacBook skins because right. it's not just skins. They're like leather skins. It can be oh, they texture, metallic, different vinyls, like all kinds OD. of shit. You know, MKBHD? I'll check who? Oh yeah, okay. he has a he has a deal with them. Like a oh, deal he does a bunch of skins. Like he has a whole line. With his them shit and always looks fire. Like he's his equipment, black and red. Like he, yeah. Shout out to MK. I don't know if he's an audio guy, but I would love to have he, him. He no, he 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 messes with audio a lot. If I'm not mistaken, like I would love I've to watched because there's a video that he basically shows his. Uh, recording uh, rig, which I think it's insane that he records his tutorials with a red, uh, red dragon, or red, no, with the, the, the no, the newest one, the Komodo, no, something crazy. Oh my god, he records on a red. All right, he all records right. his tutorials on a red, and that's yeah. why I be looking at his shit like this shit is, Look, is going. His laughing. studio is crazy. He has a studio YouTube. No, he's he's like? elite. Like he's elite. Shout, shout out, out to, to Mark. Yeah, shout out to the Brownlee. Oh, Marcus Brownlee. Yeah. Uh, the, I say YouTuber. I sound like a Baltimore guy. YouTubers. YouTubers. <laughs> Shout out to the tech YouTubers that love audio. That's a fact. Because, oh my gosh, people like uh, MKBHD, Jonathan Morrison. Yep. Yeah, yep. for sure. Audio, like, we, we appreciate Appreciate y'all. And there's yeah. not enough, like, uh, of a blend or com camaraderie between the two communities. And yeah, we're so similar. for sure. Right. Like, this is a tech podcast. Right. Technically. You know? Technically. Yeah. I, you, so, so, to sum up, basically, our conversation just on budget equipment, um... I'm a big fan of budget equipment when it comes to traveling. So I'm I'm yeah. I find myself like I will compromise quality if it comes with portability. You know what I mean or just being like being able to travel with it. So mm -hmm. the app, the reason why I I want to give really a light on the Apogee Duet 3 and the Apogee so you, and the Apogee Boom, by the way, I want to say that too, is because the Apogee Duet 3 has bro it has everything I need. When I mean I was able to carry my entire studio in a duffel, bro, and, and it wasn't full. It was like I had space. I, I took my keyboard, my slate microphone, and I took like a boom arm. Mm -hmm. And bro, I was rocking in my um in my hotel room just with the Apogee Duet 3. That's my favorite piece as far as travel wise is concerned. Now is there such thing as budget uh software? Cause I don't think so. I think I don't think so. Waves for me fuck, got that shit the fuck out of here. For me, bro, Waves has you can every week you can go on Waves and get every plugin for thirty dollars and that's seven. Facts. If you buy one plugin, you get seven free. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, Waves packed up the Fab Filter. Um, they packed up Fab Filter. Yeah. No way. Because no I feel way. like newer producers or newer engineers, uh -huh. newer people like who are just making music for fun. Yeah, they're not gonna look Fab Filter's way when. 
Waves can offer them a uh, alternative for thirty five bucks. Now I say I'd say I'd say he's right, and especially in the sense of okay, um, you're only really missing out on a limiter. Come with on, who? you're lying. With who? Ooh. With fat. With, with fat. But now here, now here's why. Yeah, I say, now, 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 here, now here, why I say this? Because you know why? No, you said just missing. It out is on a because think about it. Think about it. Re- Pro R is fire. Pro R is king. King. But I we know it. that. Right. We know that. Niggas, there's niggas out here that, that use Timeless over Echo Boy, which I will never understand. No, Timeless, but is, timeless is pretty I've fire. I've never used Timeless. No, you're timeless is fire. You're disrespectful. Timeless is you're fire. Disrespectful. I've never used but Timeless. But some people will just prefer to use it. Granted, though, I don't see really, unless you're using doing it for a tutorial and stuff, I don't see, and you could be honest and hit us if you need to. Well, I don't see producers and engineers using like Pro C. And but stuff like that. I don't a, see Pro comp- C get Here's used. The thing. I see Simon Savita. It's the only person I've ever used. That's the only. Simon does use Pro he C. He used Pro C. And it, it sound like when I see him use it, I'll be like, hmm, that sounds nice. But you know? I think Fab Filter knows what their place. We're like, all right, we're not going to sure. go on sale for y'all. No. And they guess should, what? We're not going to try to market to y'all. We're not going to try to market to y'all either. I guess because we don't see them everywhere. I don't. So it's just like you know what? You're going to find us. If you're really serious about that, that's true. exactly and for sure. I'm gonna pay our prices, and exactly. I'll say this: at the end of the day, we could be like, "Oh, prices, prices," but guess what? There's not one person I barely see that, that don't, has, don't got, got a fab Pro filter Q3 shit or, 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 or Pro Q, yeah. or some Saturday. So we're gonna wrap up right there. That was our conversation on just budget equipment and things of that nature. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. We really appreciate you guys. It helps so much on Spotify and Apple Music. We drop every single. What is that days? Wednesdays? Wednesday. Wednesday, 6 o'clock in the morning is our audio, and 2.15 in the afternoon is our video. Thank you guys so much. This has been the My Audio Nerds Podcast. Please follow us at Help Me Devon. And Until please take time. the dinner. Take the dinner. Don't take whatever. Live your life. Enjoy that dinner. <laughs>